All right, good morning, day two. A little after seven o'clock, maybe like 7.15 or so. Uh, we just checked out and we grabbed our continental breakfast, some fruit and some muffins. Uh, we'll be eating, waiting till after 9 a.m. or 12 noon, depending on the situation today, before eating at all. But I did grab some coffee and now this is embarrassing to admit, but I have this cup here. Partly embarrassing because it says tea and not coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. I should be drinking more tea, but I ate out of this the other day and I have not washed it, which is disgusting. I meant to wash it, already checked out, can't wash it, and I've got a solution, which is ridiculous, but I'm gonna admit it, just for the sake of, you can have a laugh at my expense, but here we go. All right, it's the only way I can think to film it. So here's my nasty coffee slash teacup. Here's my cup of coffee in the now new, clean, we'll call this the foam insert. Oh yeah, it tastes much better out of the teacup with a handle. All right, so we're on our way to the beach. Uh, one thing that I have learned while filming is not to have the window open because you can't hear anything. So we'll close it up. Let's close it the other one as well, see if that makes a difference. All right. So yeah, so we're gonna head to the beach. I'm not expecting, oh, slept in a little bit today because the forecast was for just an onshore wind, no swell. Maybe a little bit of swell, but onshore wind. My oh, is not really that good, so getting here at 5 in the morning with uh, an onshore wind is a little too brutal for me um, to do if there's no swell. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Good morning. Anything for the camera, right, dog? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are at the beach. It's got a kind of a cross onshore wind. Actually a decent swell. Um, debating on whether I'm gonna go out today. This is kind of the irony now of having a surfboard and a stand-up paddleboard. Stand-up paddleboard, I'm out there. But the swell forecast, the swell forecast is for a little bit of increase of swell and the wind forecast, which to me is much more important, is to, to drop down later on this afternoon. And actually, the forecast is really good an hour south of here at around you know, late afternoon. So, I'm not sure if we're gonna go out right now or not. Which maybe is you know, an interesting thing that frees me up to actually you know, walk on the beach and do stuff I normally wouldn't do at this, at this hour. Now I'm walking with the wind to try to cut down on the wind noise. All right, we're actually gonna head to a spot that's behind a rock and there should be no wind there. All right. We interrupt this footage with a public service announcement. It's a bad spot, but you know, I can see how um, People get injured doing the, any kind of selfie, um, YouTube type footage. Because you get so wrapped up in the actual camera cinematography aspect that this is what happens. Big swell comes in, splits me out the sea. Alrighty, back in the car. We're gonna head up, get some coffee, and I'm actually think about driving down to New Hampshire. Just checked the forecast and it's looking like less wind and maybe the same size swell, hopefully, uh, about an hour south of here. So we're going to cruise on down and check that out. All right, so I keep talking about the wonders of the mega car. Tiny little car. I can sleep in the back. It holds a lot of gear. Next step up would be a minivan. But as I like to say, this is not a minivan. It's a mega car. But maybe it's time to step up to a mega minivan. Check this out. These people are from Quebec or Quebec. 
Long live the caravan. So here we are at Jenna's Beach. Got some rain, overcast, wind, which is cross shore, slightly cross onshore. Let's check it out. So this is the interesting thing about traveling by yourself with sports as your main focus. If there's no sports, that's what I love about being up near Portland, Maine, is there's always so much to do. Down here I'm thinking, you know, hotel, motel, get some editing done etc. Maybe cruising to the surf shop across the way, summer sessions, I think that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, you hit the downtime and you know it's an interesting time to bring up the aspect of being 50 years old and surfing is it's not like being 18, 19, even 24 where your best friends um, can drop their hat at a moment's notice. This is more of a, you know, I guess that's life in general. It becomes a little bit more um, of a solo sport. Life is a sport, um, so to say. But, yeah, not to get too philosophical on us here. Let's, um, let's get back on track. Um, editing is um, a great, um, I don't know how to, how to, how to word it. Um, it's been very fortunate for a solo traveler to have something that's very fun to do, challenging and necessary. Um, so it feels, you feel productive. Um, so that's, um, something that's actually been an unexpected pleasure. All right. And you know, when I was in my 18 to 25 year old range, even pushing 30, uh, traveling solo was different because it was a different time of my life. There was other kind of extracurricular activities as far as, you know, drinking, meeting people, um, just taking in calories in general, whether it was going to a pizza shop or whatever, there's a lot of, um, and not even necessarily social, but um, time wasting, time killing, time filling that can occur consuming calories um, that I'm just not doing in my 50s. I don't necessarily even want to do it like I used to. So, yeah, times have changed and this is just something that, something that has to be adapted to. Alrighty. So it's looking like the wind is finally cooperating. So that means, let's get ready. So, necessary evil, contacts, for the dream, as they say. Perfection. Alright, we're heading, heading out. 
Let's do this, all right? Good day no matter what, right? Not all about surfing. So much for it being a solo sport. Group to the south, group to the north. Maybe it's a solo sport for me. Figure this out. Uh-uh. 
Pointer. I did have a two pointer at one point, and again, filming in like a maybe time lapse photo. I don't know what it is, it's a series of photos, but I don't know. It doesn't always seem like time lapse, it's kind of consecutive. So, you know, I guess, uh, I guess it's just photo and it's taking like action shot, shot, shot. Maybe I'll have some photos, I don't know, but worth the wait. It's awesome. Ah, does it take the place of stand-up paddleboard? No. Is it awesome? Absolutely. To the tube. Someday, it's gonna happen. To the tube. spent for the workout out there um, with all my dry land training and stand up paddle boarding up hanging off um, for a day like today it's um oh, I think it's those waves are I don't know if they're getting smaller or if they're smaller down here where I came in because they're looking that's actually kind of giving me a little bit of confidence coming in because they were kind of, I was going over some mushy. Um, and mushy seems like it's, um, well, it's easier in a way. I mean, you're going to paddle harder, but you're less likely to uh, dive the nose, pearl it, or whatever they call it. I love sea foam. Yeah, sea foam's good. Forecast is calling for glass overnight. <laughs> One day closer to the tube. It was worth the wait too. I was, earlier, you know, I was wondering like, I mean, do I really have what it takes because I was not out there in the morning but they say you know well let's get the all right definitely worth the wait I um you know I was questioning earlier this morning if you know maybe you know do I have what it takes to actually you know start as a beginner and a surfer and make it to riding in the tube um you know considering that i wasn't you know gunning to get out this morning with the wind and onshore and the conditions just weren't that great you know did i have the passion but passion or patience you know which is more important i don't know 
Um, but patience is a virtue. I've never heard passion is a virtue. Um, yeah, passion taco. I got to say passion taco. I do enjoy passion taco every now and then. I'm being sarcastic. Um, that's an inside joke for one particular person that I love. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, it was worth the wait. I think um, just being out there and floundering around this morning, not necessarily going to get the job done. And um, maybe patience can help to keep the passion. You know? Hey, I've waited 50 years. I can wait another couple of days, right? Alrighty. <laughs> That's okay, it's worth it. <laughs> but I should maybe I should say see how much it for before I said well, it was worth it, whether it gives us 50 bucks. 25. Fine pain within 25 days. With, with pay within 20 days. 25 bucks to park. I wonder how much it would have cost me if I had been legit. Alright, so check this out. You can see how close I am parked to the beach. $25 parking ticket, not the end of the world, it's my own fault for not paying for parking. But the interesting thing is, I'm sitting here and I'm kind of contemplating, do I drive home tonight? Do I get a hotel, you know, inland a little bit, um, something that I can afford? And I'm sitting here and sitting here and sitting here, I'm mulling it over, dragging my feet, and I'm looking at this. And I'm thinking, look how close this is. We're talking right across the street. So I'm wondering, you know, could I possibly afford this? Probably not, it's Saturday night, but it is September. So I walk over there, guy's super nice, and it's $109, including tax, including continental breakfast. It's got a swimming pool open outdoor, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And it's, I can do a midnight paddle if I want. I can do a sunset tour, walk across in the morning. I don't know when checkout is, but, I'll be able to park there at least until nine. So I get a morning session in. Don't pay for parking over here. No parking ticket. Perfect. What's it called? Shout out to Dunes Motor Inn, Brian, New Hampshire. I don't care what the room looks like. I'm psyched. <laughs> All right, one minute later and here we are. Got the pool, the beach. and everything we need. You know what? Technically, I can actually see the beach from my $109 motel. You're not gonna see it, but it's right, you're not gonna see it, but it's right there. $109, that includes taxes, includes continental breakfast, it includes parking, which is $2 an hour across the street or $25 if you don't pay. And I don't know when checkout is. Everything I need right here. If we're only open till the end of September, I would be here all winter. Gonna go for a 9 p.m. run slash jog on the beach. Not gonna go far, just gonna enjoy the sound of the waves, feel the wind, smell the salt, feel the sand. Alrighty, not a whole lot of places I can film in the nighttime. GoPro does not like the dark. So I'll see you all in the morning. Alright.